representing systems of linear inequalities graphically. First thing I'm going to do is forget about the inequality symbols, pretend they're equal signs, make a table of x, y values that satisfies each inequality. Pretending it's an equation though. So if my y is already isolated, I can just choose a couple values for x, 3, 8, 12, solve for y. 2 times 3 is 6, 5 minus 6 is negative 1, 2 times 8 is 16, 5 minus 16 is negative 11, 2 times 12 is 24, 5 minus 24 is negative 19. For my other guy, neither one of the variables is isolated. I'm going to have to use another strategy. I could algebraically manipulate this to isolate one of them, but for me, I like to just play with the numbers in my head. You can use whatever strategy you need to use. You can still pick x's and then solve for y algebraically. Okay, I can see right away, if I make x 10, y will have to be 0. 20 plus 0 equals 20. Similarly, if I make y be 4, 20 plus 0 is 20. Now let me find one more point. Uh, if I say 5 times 2, that's 10. I'm going to need 2 times 5 to be 10 plus 10 is 20. After you have your points, then you're going to put those points onto the graph. Should already be very familiar with doing this. I need to get all the way down to negative 19. All right, I'm going to I'm going to count by twos. Grabbing my yellow points. 3 negative 1 8 negative 11 12 negative 19 My points should line up before I connect my dots, I'm going to need to take a look at this symbol. If it includes an equals component, then I will use a solid line to connect my dots. Solid line to connect my dots. This other guy, red, 10, 0, 0, 4. 5, 2, 9 up in a straight line. If I do not include an equals component, then I'm going to use dashed lines instead of solid lines. This lets the viewer know that we're not allowed to equal that line. We're allowed to get close to it, but we're not allowed to equal it. So far, this has been exactly the same as solving for a system of equations. How is How are inequalities different? Well, we've got a lot more possible answers. We can have anything, any x-y combination that makes this situation less than 20, and we can have any x-y combination so that this is smaller than that. Which means I've got four regions now on my board. I've got this region, this one, this one, this one. One of those regions contains all the possible answers. Make both of those true. The other three do not. I'm going to shade the region that makes both situations true. So the way that I find that region is I test a point. Let's say this point here, 10, 10. I'm going to see, does that make my first equation true? 5 minus 20 is less than 10. True. I'm going to test, does it make my second equation true? True. 20 plus 50 is not less than 20. So this point makes the yellow equation true. 
but it makes the red equation false. This is not the section that I want to shape. If it had been false, false, I would know immediately to go to the opposite section. But since it's true, false, that means that I'm either here or here. Let me test one in here. 10, negative 4. 10, negative 4. When x is 10, we've got 20. When y is negative 4, we've got negative 20. 20 minus 20 is 0. Is that less than 20? Yes. This guy. 10, negative 4. 2 times 10 is 20. 5 minus 20 is negative 15. Is that less than negative 4? Yes. Okay. So this point, x is 10, y is negative 4, solves both inequalities. That means that this section between the blue and the yellow line is going to contain all of the correct solutions. So that will be the section we shaped. That is modeling systems of inequalities on a graph.